Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Reality a System. Last episode we found the Archon that stole Elliot's camera. Archon and Elliot formed a nice little bond and then Bea, the head of the museum, gave Archon to Elliot and made sure he promised to uh, look after it. So that's really nice. Elliot got his first ever Pokemon. We're now in the uh, next town and this is where the ex-champion Liliana is and we need to confront Liliana. But to do that we need to go to enter the castle tournament which uh, oh, I'm excited about. So uh, let's go explore and see what we can find. Uh, Hey all. Uh, my name as a serial killer would be El Suspense. So while I'm killing my victims, I scream, Oh no, the suspense is killing me! That's so awful. <laughs> Alright, let's do this one. What do I do? What do I do? Somebody take this weight off of me for once. Uh, I guess we come and speak to you once we do the next story bit. Maybe get a medal. Unlock some more side quests. Uh, speak to that dude. Uh, the aesthetic of Ciudad Caraza has been maintained for many years. Ciudad Egeda, the other big city in the region, has modernized its buildings and has a completely different vibe. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, uh, so gym there, yeah, so we'll probably get some more side quests unlock once we've done that. Uh, the fog in the city reminds me of the one where a famous detective from Gala lived. There are many stories about it. Oh! And my favorite is the Growlithe of the Baskervilles. Tell me, do you also like detective novels? Um, not really novels. I like detective movies. Ah, you're the guilty one. Give me an orange berry and I won't tell. Sure. Uh, you're serious? I was playing detective with my hoodie. Uh, now I feel bad. Take this instead. Ooh, blue parts. Sweet. The more, the more blue parts we get, or actually any three of the same color, we can give it to B and get a uh, nice uh, TM or item. No, it's a TM. Yeah. So let's go this way. Let's talk to you. Uh, the fog becomes even stronger on Route 17. It's very dangerous to travel because you'll have to cross cliffs over the sea. Oh, wow. We won't be going to Route 17 for quite some time, though. The few people who managed to do it have found that beyond there is nothing, only the border with the neighboring region and a very high mountain. Alrighty. Oh, wow. A little crabby place. Okay. Oh, this is the aquarium. Got a little Osho up there. Okay. Uh, sup. This magic carp is called LP. He was separated from his brother Cisain at sea. I uh, heard that Cisain, Cisain was transported to an aquarium in the distant region of Eris and LP was brought there, brought here. Uh, he's very angry with humanity for having separated him from his beloved brother. So much that he has begun to stare at people in protest. Oh. Either that or he thinks we're going to eat him. Well, it could be both. Let's hope he doesn't turn into a Gyarados and just wrecks up the place, you know? Hey friend, you have a fishing rod? I do not. Well, yes, you have one. No, do I? Oh no, I do, yeah. Use it while I catch a lot of Pokemon. For a second, I didn't think I had one. Whoa, your hair looks awesome. Um, if you catch a lot of this, it'll probably carry a heart scale with it. Oh, that's cool. So where can I fish? Uh, hi. Uh, Rightio. Sup? Oh, what a pity. Whoever had those species in the aquarium. So, where do I... Can I do it here? Uh, fishing rod, fishing rod, fishing rod. No, I can't do it there. Doubt we do it here. Where do we fish? I want some cool Pokemon. <laughs> uh, sup? When I'm bored, I watch TV, and if I get bored more, I turn it on. Turn what on? What? Uh, so you say, you're saying when you you watch TV without it being on? What? Hey, can you give me a hug? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, thank you. I was kind of sad I needed someone to give me a hug. Oh. Take for being such good people with me. Okay. Got a binding band. Sweet. All right. Anything else to do? So we've been this way. Yeah, so let's go back up. Go explore over here. Go to this house. Uh, sup? Liliana was champion for a couple of years. Sora took her job away from her and now she lives in the castle with her daughter Alba. Apparently she has imposed a strict training regimen on her so that one day she too can become champion. Not gonna happen because we're gonna become champion. Liliana loves Pokemon battles. She organizes tournaments every day in the castle. Every day? Not like every week but every day? Woo. Must be busy so we don't wanna go that way. Uh, this leads back down here, so let's go up. 
and this takes us maybe towards the castle. That's got to be the castle area. Okay, so we'll come check here last. Let's go back this way, check. Oh, looking pretty cool. Oh, excuse me, pretty. Seems my Glimau got a little nervous at the sight of yours and I had to find out why. <laughs> hey, uh, it seems to me that it behaves quite normally. I tell you that he is very nervous. I know him well. He must also be a cat Pokemon lover, right? Uh, no, the truth is no. I'm just walking my grandma's Pokemon. <laughs> Do you need anything or can I go now? They're waiting for me. Uh, no, wait. Uh, did you know that I am one of the guards of Liliana's castle? Quite professional, in fact. I'm about to be promoted for my great work protecting spectators in tournaments with my powerful Bronzong. Uh... Okay, isn't that awesome? What do you think if we take a walk together and I show it to you? A Bronzong, did you say? And why are you here driving a Glamal then? Uh, orders from Liliana, of course. Turns out this is her personal Glamal. You're a liar. A moment ago you said it was yours. Th this? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, it's that he gave it to me. Uh, I'm one of uh, her best men, after all. Damn you. You're not a clown, you're the whole circus. Oof! Hey, what's up, Glamau? Uh, can I be- that's a Rabatuta? I love Rabatuta, but what a beauty! They're my favorite Pokemon. Never thought I would uh, get to see one. Sorry, what's your name? Do you come from afar? Ah, so you're Voltsy. It's a good name. Hey, wouldn't you like to take a walk with my Glamau and me? I want to know more about your Pokemon. Do not worry. If you cannot, we can stay another day. Oh, but you're not from around here, I guess. Are you challenging the gyms? Wow, that's great. I'd also love to travel around the region sometime and get all the medals. Ever since I was a little, I've always wanted to leave the city and see the world. I have to take care of my grandmother, so I haven't had a chance. <laughs> hey, promise me you'll come home one day. I'll treat you to some delicious cookies. They're wonderful. <laughs> Look at him on the floor. <laughs> now I have to go. Don't forget. It's a promise. No, no wait, no! No! D your! This is all your fault! I almost had it! She had her eye on that, on that girl for so long! I've even captured this blissful Glamour to get close to her. Everything to the fret because you were in the middle. <laughs> so, Faulty. I'll not forgive you. I intend to collect my revenge. Prim's wrath will fall on you. Remember me, because I will appear in your worst nightmares. I don't even want that Glamau. Let the Kavana eat it. Okay. Sorry, Glamau. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, um... I guess we go. Uh, ah, the sounds of the sea are really relaxing. I could spend the whole day here. Ooh, I mean, it is quite nice. Uh, sup. Are you coming to sign up for today's tournament ahead? I am. Wait, 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 before I do that though, before I do that, I want to go to the Pokemart, which was over here. And go and buy some supplies, because we desperately need some. Hey, what's up, mate? Maybe I should have picked some berries too. Oh, Voltsy, don't you have a Zydra berry line around? I'll trade it for a heart scale. Yeah, sure, why not? All right. So, let's go in. If we have to fight Owen and we lose because of that berry, I'll be annoyed. How could you, Jeremiah? What, are you, what you're doing is horrible. Don't look at me, Alba. Your mother organized it behind my back. That doesn't matter to me now. Why did you decide to create something like this? Briviari. Briviari hates me. I dragged him gym after gym thinking he was fighting happily by my side, but he was suffering. You can't make that system public. Links between Pokemon and trainers cannot be faked. Nah, <sighs> and here is the result of your imp imprudence, Liliana. Wow, wow, what is happening here? Oh, nice. If they're here, my dearest daughter and the very efficient Jeremiah. My girl, my poor girl. You lost against Sarah, right? I saw it all on TV, that wretch. Oh, but calm down, you have nothing to worry about. Jeremiah says that he is going to make some changes to the system and everything will be better. Isn't it true? No, I haven't said anything at all. Mum, 
Just listen to me. You cannot allow Metascore to continue developing the uh, Reladia system. It was you who financed that corporation, right? What they do is not right. Oh? Hmm. Nah, if the Reladia system didn't force relationships with Pokemon, no one would use it. People capture them to make them fight without thinking about whether it is uh, what they want or not. Trainers don't care about their Pokemon and vice versa. Uh, forming a friendship with them is a sovereign nonsense. It's a real shame that something like this is what increases its potential. But what are you saying, Mum? Every good trainer cares about their Pokemon. Won't use that, uh, that thing knowing that it will hurt Braviari. Oh, you end up giving it the same. When your goal is to become the strongest. Uh, how your Pokemon feel will be the least of your worries. Rest assured, dear. But it's not time to talk about that now. The tournament is going to start. What? No, we definitely have to talk about this now. You're, oh, oh, and my girl is going to participate in the tournament. True, yes? Oh man, the, I do not like the mum, but... And what about you, dearest Jeremiah? Don't tell me you also burn your desire to participate. Oops, uh, but how slippery is the ground? You should put a wet sun on something. <laughs> D Jeremiah, you're on a rug. Okay, I'll take that as a no. And what about our guest? I think he has to come to, uh, come to participate. Our guest? Hey, oh, Boltsy, you are here? I've tried to convince my mother to stop Medis Corp, but it hasn't helped much. Not even Jeremiah is up for the job. I don't understand anything at all. I'm sorry, Alba. I finally caught up with you, Voltsy. Have you already signed up for the tournament? Oh, Elliot! Happy to see you again. Sunrise! Also, are you, are you also going to participate? Uh, well, the truth is that... Oh, so are you all friends? Even before my daughter becomes a champion? She already seems to be quite popular. How glad am I? You don't look like city boys. Uh, can you tell me your names? Uh, I'm Elliot, and he's Voltsy. I kind of get like, um... Lusamine vibes a little bit from her, but uh, both come from Pablo Jasper. This lady scares me. <laughs> Elliot from Jasper Town. I see, I see, you're a lovely boy. Come, let me give you a hug. <laughs> do I really deserve this? Ah, uh, who cares? Uh, what are we gonna do? I mean, you can, you can hug me if you want. I'm down for a hug. Fultzy, right? We have a uh, Realidea system, from what I see. The only possible explanation is that a certain traitor did it to get in the way of, uh, of Metis Corp's plans. Uh, I'm so sure that I'd bet my entire castle on it. So let me propose something to you, okay? Show up to the tournament, fight against my daughter. And if you win, I completely dissolve Metis Corp. Th that? No, I don't want to. If you lose, you'll give me the copy of your system. You'll tell me where that treacherous Radatar is and let Metis Corp do its thing quietly. Liliana, this is too much. Remove all of that right now. Sorry, I was, wasn't talking to you. I know you're both somewhat involved in the deal, but keep quiet. Something involved? Answer, Volty. Do you accept the deal? Uh, I guess it's no or no. Wow, you have guts. No more talk then. I'll wait for you in the arena then. The tournament is about to start. Make sure you prepare well. Losing to someone other than my daughter would be really pathetic of you. Yikes. Come on, Jeremiah. You and I also have a little business to talk about. Oof. I'm sorry. All this is my fault. My mother's obsession with me becoming the best coach has gone too far. Enough to turn Metis Corp and that, that terrible system. Uh, what I don't understand is being aware of it. Why didn't Jeremiah do anything about it? He always behaved very well with me and is very fond of Pokemon. It's very weird. Excuse me, but although there are many things that I don't understand, there is one, one in particular I would like you to clarify for me. Uh, who is this alleged traitor that Liliana was talking about? Do you know Voltsy? Uh, ain't a traitor. The teacher, Simon? Elio, are you okay? You have a very sad face. Were you acquainted with this Simon? Uh, no, it's not that. He was thinking that it must have been hard for him to have to hide from Metascore. Or developing the new version of the system to face them all alone. Yeah, I guess she couldn't say anything as to uh, not involve anyone else. Although, I find it surprising that he's been hidden for so long. Jeremiah isn't the type who would just ignore running off with the system code and let it go. 
So, what do we do? Albert, do you really think Liliana will disband Metis Core if Falsy wins the tournament? Absolutely not. Uh, not Connor, I guess not sure. I'm sh I'm sure all he wants is for Falsy to fight me to see if his uh, Real Adea system can compete with Metis Core's. I don't even know what's going through my mother's mind. Since she lost her champion title, she's always been like this. The point is that if I don't compete in the tournament and if Falsy wins, if it's true, he won't do anything at all. On the other hand, if Falsy beats me in front of him, maybe that will make my mother come to her senses and rethink the way the system is being used. It's really worth a try though. Come on Falsy, you have to show my mother how powerful the true bonds between humans and Pokemon are. It's true that Breviary hates me and it hurts me to have to give him orders in battle like that, but you have to make him see reason somehow. I can do that. I'll be cheering for you both from the stands. You can do it. And it seems that Archon too. Surely he's uh, saying that everything will be fine. Talk to me when you're ready, Faultsy. Alright, let's look around here first. Oh. Oh, a chest. Oh, we got a Steelix Megastone. So that torn to shreds and throw in the wastebasket. That was like, oh, nice. Sweet. So Mega Revolution is in this game. Do you think the starters have Mega Revolution? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, sup? Nobody knows anything about Alpha's father and Liliana never mentions him. Who would have been brave enough to fall in love with that fierce, I mean, that strict woman? I would. She looks, uh, she looks mean. Step on me, you know? Uh, so, Liliana specializes in the steel type when she was champion, however, she used Pokemon of any type. Oh, she's a steel type user. Makes sense why we get the Steelix Megastone here then. Uh, where, where does this take us? Oh! We're the champion now! <laughs> uh, Liliana came here to live with her newborn daughter 14 years ago. Most of the employees have been serving her ever since. She's a good woman and a good mother, but when there are Pokemon battles involved, she looks like another person. Don't even think about mentioning Sara, the current champion. Alright. Uh, many times Liliana disappears and no one knows where she goes. There are people who claim to have seen her heading for Route 19, but why would she want to go there? Maybe that's where the Metis core base is, I'm assuming? Uh, anything in here? Oh, wow. Guess this is um, Alba's room. Look at the plushes, it looks awesome. It's a list with names of anime series crossed out. What anime series? What anime series? Right now, the only anime I'm actually watching is Spy X Family, which is coming very close to an end. Can't go up there, so I guess we talk to her and let's do this. Ready, Voltsy? Do you mean to explain, the, explain how the tournament works? Nah, I think I'm good. So let's go for it. So, do you want to start now? Let's do it. Good luck. Hey, come on, Volti. You can win. Oh, there's the bronze on. Uh, here comes our new competitor. Ah, but I can't wait to see what he's capable of. Shouldn't there be a, a commentator on the battlefield? Something like a judge or some referee? Huh? I'm the judge myself. Am I not enough for you, dear Jeremiah? I'm the very ex-champion. What more do you want? Walk away? I want to get away for now. <laughs> Time for the first opponent. He's a boy who has also just arrived today. Owen? Oh. Faulty, I know I find you around here. I couldn't help but sign up for the tournament. We wouldn't have been able to talk to Liliana until later even anyway. Fair enough. So prepare yourself. This time I'm going to make you bite the dust for real. I swear if that berry I gave you makes you win, I ain't gonna be happy. Alright, oh, you got Eevee, nice. Alright, let's go for Flame Charge, get a bit of speed. I'm gonna go for Flame Burst. I think there's a Flame Burst. It's fine, it's fine. One more. Nice! Alright, so far, so good. Mantike. Oh, I gotta switch out. We got um, Thunder Fang, so let's just hopefully take you out. Oh, doing some big damage, and I think that. I missed? I must have missed. Ah, oh, it sucks. Alright, let's go Dartrix. It's not too bad. Oh, we got confused. It's fine, it's fine. One more. 
Come on, we got this, we got this. I'm gonna go for a super potion. Oh, you suck. And then we hurt ourselves, of course. Alright, two more Razor Leafs. Nice, one more, one more. No, we've got the confusion again? Dude, how many confusions do you want? Dude, seriously. Alright, I know your next two Pokemon's gonna be um, the starter and Heliolisk, so let's go for this, get a bit of speed boost ready. There's the Heliolisk, and let's go for Hypnosis. That's quick attack. That's fine, that's fine, let's go for this. And with any luck, you stay asleep all the turns. Don't wake up. Oh, you got a berry. I guess that's the berry I probably gave him, right? Come on, two more, two more. One more, one more. Oh no, you suck. This is bad, this is bad. Let's go Gumi. Uh, let's go for this. This Dragon Rate of Dragon... I think it's Dragon Breath, wasn't it? It's Dragon Breath. Does not do much. I mean, I've got to keep going for it, actually. I think that's the best move I've got at the moment. Because I'm pretty sure if I go bubble with my dry skin and get HP back and absorb won't do anything. Oh, you need like one, one attack. Drifblim, you got this. Oh, what? It's part normal, isn't it? Oh, no, I think you're pure electric. It's fine, it's fine. Nice, and speed boost should hopefully let me outspeed you. Nice. I forgot you were a normal electric. I always want to go for a ghost type move. But the next one should be the grass style, alright? And then we can just hit you with some fire attacks and we should be fine. We good, we good. Ooh, that was a tough battle, man. That was very tough. Nice. No, all my efforts. Ah, oh, I can't be. How do you do it, Volti? Am I destined to always be behind you? Yes, absolutely. Because I won't allow it. Next time you'll get a good surprise. Oh, I look forward to it. Ooh, it's not bad at all. Your ranking points have increased from 0 to 20. Congratulations. Hey Jeremiah, why don't you tell us uh, your impressions? Of course, I get the impression that it was a waste of time and I should get back to my research. <laughs> Be careful when you look out, lest you fall due to an oversight. <laughs> Enough chatter, I love how you just moved away a little bit. And your next opponent is? This backpacker guy. Okay, I was told that the training here was stricter than in the mountains. Let's see if it's true. I do get fully healed, which is nice though. And we just got a switch into Dartrix. Ouch, it's fine. Big damage. And one more, we should lift this. Just about. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. I think I battled that guy before. But wonderful, you have talent, Volksy. Let's see, now you have 50 ranking points. Jeremiah, aren't you gonna go in a bit too far? Come here, this is the best place to enjoy combat in all its splendor. Uh, and this place is further away from you and closer to the exit. Perfect to run away in case you need it. <laughs> Lol, but how funny you are sometimes, Jeremiah. Oh, he's moving even further away. Let's see, who will be your next opponent? There is uh, still luck and he is someone weak with many ranking points. Alright, I came here to get stronger. Don't think I'm going to make it easy for you. Wouldn't expect it. Alright, so let's go Confusion 100%. That's going to delete you. Nice. And a Combuscanium. Stay in. Just keep going for Confusion. Ooh, we'll be good. Go on, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Ah. Oh, that'll be nice. Alright, that's free down. Fox is on a roll. Take a hundred points. Hey, you. How many points did my daughter Alba have? Uh, there shouldn't be many left before I can fight her, right? Mm, 10,000 ranking points? There's so many. Wow, Volti, you really are practically a Pokemon master already. Uh, Sarah? Cynthia? Lance? Maximo? Penis? Oh. They're all losers compared to you. You would leave those for the drag if you were to find, uh, find them someday. I said you had 100 points, right? I want to say 10,000. I accidentally lost a couple of little bits or nothing. <laughs> of course this is going to happen. I don't even know why I'm surprised. Hmm. 
And this means that Volti could finally face Alba. Hey. Crunch time, Volti. We can't let my mother get away with it. Cheer up, Volti and Alba. You can do it. Let's go there. Don't cut a hair, huh? I'll try not to. Love the battle music. Oh, great start. I'm just going to keep going for flame charge. Get that speed boost. And that's got to be agility, right? So no. Go on agility. Oh, the water starter. Okay, I'm going to go for confusion. Doesn't do too much. Let's go hypnosis. Oh, he missed. That's me. Probably dead. I'll get through the confusion. Get through the confusion. Oh, man. I'm going to miss twice. So Beldum's coming up next. Okay, Beldum, that's fine. We can deal with that. Flame charge. And one more. Awesome. Let's come back out. I should switch to Dartrix. And we'll go for Razor Leaf. No confusion this time, which is great. Oh, that did big damage. We good though, we good. And Braviary, we should be able to take this out. This is going to take a, take a while. No, Braviary, please. Just keep on Razor Leafing. Poor Braviary. Doesn't want to listen. Alright, let's just go for some pecs. I think there's a little bit more. Keep going. Nice. That is level 60 makes me think by the time it does obey her, we're also going to be level like 60, so we're going to make like a fair fight. I've done my best and I have nothing to do against you, Volty. I've lost despite having given everything in this fight, although it was to be expected. Still, I think my Pokemon have been great. I've learned a lot and I will make my colleagues able to trust me more and more. Uh, thanks for the fight, Volti. You and your team are very close. That makes you invincible. Have you seen Mum? Volti's links to his Pokemon are genuine. It is not necessary to fake friendships to become stronger. It is the hard work of both trainers and Pokemon together that gives them the power. Uh, don't you think, Mum? Mum? Genuine links, you say? What gives them power? You don't know what you're saying, stupid. There hasn't been a single time in my entire life that that has worked. Do you think I'll become a champion like that? Making little friends? If you want the Pokemon to obey you, the only thing you need is discipline, not the love of a good trainer. Trainers seek power, and the title of the champion is the only thing that shows that you are the best and the others are a bunch of useless compared to you. Can't you see I'm worrying about you, Alba? I'll make sure that you have a future where there is no one who can get in your way. And all the blame is from that damn wretch. It's Sara's fault. Oh, but also, Volti, you're going to pay dearly for what you've done. Oh, snap. Move from the middle. No, no what are you doing? Quiet. Nothing special. Just finishing off the guy who has decided to get in our way. Oh, snap. Here we go. Level 51. Oh, I'm definitely not winning this, am I? The victory? I can already see it. It's mine. Mine. Uh oh. Mega Steelix. Enough, Liliana. Oh. It's enough. Stop this immediately. What happens to you now? Move over, Jeremiah. If you don't, I won't be able to resist. Steelix? Hyper Beam. Oh, Volty, take cover fast. Whoa. I need your help, Rosemary. Use Whistle against Liliana. What? Jeremiah, wretch, how do you dare to... Mum. Yikes. Well, it seems that Liliana had a good time asleep. I've confiscated the uh, Realidea system from her as well, just in case. Although knowing her, she won't be long in getting another copy of one of the uh, recruits somehow. You're fine, right? Luckily, the crowd is protected by a security barrier during the fighting. Uh, I'm not going to question you about that system you're running. 
understand that you that you go after Metascorp because you think w what we do is wrong. Anyone would. Uh, and believe me, I'm sorry I can't give you any information. Aware of the terrible image that Metascorp uh, must produce for you. Oh. You're. You're. So you're Jeremiah, the one who's supposedly in charge of Metascorp? What are you up to? And wh <laughs> why do you do this to Pokemon? What does Liliana have to do with this whole thing? Reply! Answer! 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 But uh, I also have a question. Why me? Faulty, luckily you're okay. What a scare. I was gonna ask Liliana for an explanation, but given the circumstances and since we've found this Jeremiah... Uh, and now that I think about it, what would happen to Liliana's daughter? You seem like a reasonable girl. Hey, you! Don't think you can just leave like that? Uh, and what are you supposed to do? I'm not going to answer anything. Are you going to face me in a fight? You couldn't beat me and even if you really did, what? <sighs> I really don't get it. Even ex-champion Liliana has lost her mind and we have to be thankful no one was injured in the tournament. Why do you insist that is a good idea? Let's say I made a promise and I must do everything in my power to fulfill it perfectly. If you insist on interfering with our plans, so be it. Keep doing it if you think it's worth your time. Neither Teresa nor I will be willing to abandon the plan. We'll do whatever it takes to move forward. Of course we will. Can't stand to see Pokemon used like this. It's practically using them as objects. Pokemon also have the right to have their own feelings. Believe it or not, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Let's see who is the winner in this game. Uh, oh. If you wanted to kill the system before we distributed it to the region, you could have at least consider destroying the main server instead of going after us. Or something like that, I guess. Yeah, and that free information? What should we do now? I guess the most sensible thing to do to let Simon know all of this. Uh, on the other hand, we should also try to talk to Liliana. Although, if I'm honest, this scares me very much. Oh, Volti, are you okay? I was very worried. Fortunately, nothing has happened to anyone. Hmm? And you are... I've seen you at the Jade City Pokemon Center. You're Elliot, right? And I didn't know you were friends with Voltsy. I'm Owen. Let's say he and I are rivals. Yes, I remember you. I also had no idea that you and Voltsy were acquaintances. And I just came to see how Alba and her mother were. There's a guard in her room and he hasn't let me in. They'll have a lot to talk about, I imagine. I trust that Alba will be able to reassure Liliana and make her see reason. I hardly doubt it. Though, there doesn't seem to be anything we can do about it. I guess I'll go train for a bit for the gym. Volti, you'll be in charge of letting Simon know think that's happened, right? Uh, I can do that. At the moment, the best thing is that we continue with our tour of the region. We have to find information about Metascore, and then where they may have, have their servers. And don't forget, Volti. One day, I plan to beat you. I'll continue walking around the city. I want to take pictures of the Pokemon in the aquarium. Uh, you still don't have the third medal, do you, Volti? You should go for that. I will. Alright, so let me, uh... So, can I go through here? That's the front room. So, the bedrooms were on the left and right, right? No, that was the room over here, so we can't go in here. And I guess we definitely can't go this way, maybe? Alright, so... Let's, uh, I guess, end this pot off. Make sure we're ready for the third gym. I want to see how we fish as well. Like, where can we do some fishing? I legit thought we were going to battle the guy we met here in the tournament, but I guess not. Alright, so I guess we end this part right here then. Next episode, we go get the third medal. And after that, we probably unlock a, a few side quests around the area and we can do them after. So, if you guys are watching, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.